Um, it is a game called Slice and Dice on Steam. And board gamers, did you know this is probably the game for you? So I will say this much that I've never been a dice gamer. There's loads of games where it's, you throw some dice and you can use dice for different things. There was a strategy game that came out that I got it on the Switch. And I could not figure out how to get this game to work. Like it was the best tutorial for it. But basically, Slice of Dice is a pixel art game that's now available on, on Steam. I was going to say Switch. I wish it wasn't Switch. It's developed by Tan, which I believe is the guy's last name. And again, indie developer. Tactical dice rolling roguelike combat. Take control of five heroes, each with their own unique dice. Fight your way through 20 levels of monsters and try to take on the final boss. If you lose a single fight, you have to start over, so be careful and luck. Basically, if you played board games, if you played the similar games, it's, you throw some dice, and each dice you can assign to the particular hero, and then you have the option to reroll some dice, and you can decide, okay, we want to damage this guy or this guy, and that's how the fights go. And it's very exciting and intense in a way. It's, oh my god, I really need this so I can finish this guy off. This is what I understand for this kind of game anyway. The Switch does have Dicey Dungeon, which is a very similar game with a different art style, of course. But yeah, it's really cool. Like some of the features here, it says 128 hero classes plus 99,999, 73 monsters, 473 items, too many modes, curses, weird money, online leaderboards. Really, it's an awesome game. Again, lots of people are interested in it. It was trending. It has no bad reviews so far that I've seen anyway on Steam. So if you are going to try it, let me know. This is a game that I believe will be better on the Switch just because it's that like low res, easygoing game that you can sit and play. And as most of you guys know, if you've listened to the podcast, I've recently, not recently, the last two years or so, I've discovered the rogue roguelike genre and I enjoy it a fair bit. The repetition is very soothing as difficult as that is to believe. Well, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Keep an eye out for it on Steam. It is currently priced at really cheap. Oh my God, it's $3 on Steam. There you go. <laughs> that is a value game right there. Yeah, yeah but and, and with some good replayability, again, support indie developers. And if you like pixel art and dungeons and dice and board games, this is the game for you. It reminds me of back when I was playing Children of Zodiacs and that was a, it was pretty dice heavy and you could customize your dice to what you wanted them to be. And so you could tweak your chances of getting certain rolls or, or getting certain bonuses off of it and stuff like that. So yeah, no, it looks interesting. I always like the kind of card games and dice games that are converted into traditional kind of more RPGs, we have a game kind of RPG where it's, I just like that, I, that concept of where it's okay, th you could in theory play this as a tabletop game. But we're just going to make it into a, a computer game for you for the convenience. And also because you could do it as a tabletop game, but sometimes it would be extremely complicated. For example, if you wanted to customize your dice in a tabletop game, you could do it. But trying to customize your dice every single time could be either expensive because you have to buy a whole bunch of different kinds of dice or uh, really tedious because you have to do something to change up your dice every single time. So I just like the, the idea where you take something that it's this is totally doable in the real world. It's just a logistic nightmare and we're just going to put all the just let the computer handle all that and we're just going to have the fun with it so i always love this kind of thing